Yo, yo, hey, today um, we're going to be doing a quick review on the Pine 64 uh, pretty much pencil soldering iron that I got for Christmas. Um, these things run for 25 bucks, um, and I got a few accessories that I'll bring into frame here in a second, but USB-C, it also has DC there. Um, this one is open source, so it's pretty cool. You can uh, go to GitHub, uh, which I haven't done it yet, but you could adjust and um, up, update or create a, your own firmware for this. Uh, so to power this, we'll be using the Invisi, I think that's how you say it, block. Uh, this one does 100 watts, got USB-C, two 100 watts, and then 20 watt, and then you got your basic 18 watt um, on your USB-A. So I got this on Amazon. All these are non-affiliate links uh, that I'll be posting below. I paid full price for everything here. Um, so let's get this thing plugged in and we will get going as far as the startup of this thing. I have a, a nope. This is a eight foot USB-C cable. Um, so we're just gonna, well, first of all, we're going to put in our soldering tip just like such. Um, little ceramic base is pretty cool. Almost plug and play type thing going on here. And then we're just gonna kind of lightly tighten down that screw right there. And that's about good enough there. Okay, so in the manual that comes with it, kind of got your 3.2 firmware is what it comes with. Um, getting started, basic functionality. You got your PID style, your automatic sleep. Uh, lift to wake, so that's kind of cool. It has a uh, accelerometer in there, so you can lift it to wake it up. Temperature boost, and then your automatic LCD rotation. That's kind of cool. And then support for PD, QC, and DC power supplies. Nice. If you're interested in one of these Pine 64 pencil soldering irons, uh, here we have our polarity. We got 12 to 24 volts, uh, 18 to 88 watts. So. Um, I am using 100 watts. I've already tried it with 100 watts and it ran fine. Nothing sizzled or hissed at me. So we're going to do a plug in here. And we've got a few settings. Got your tip. Uh, this is 20. Got your power settings. I think it's going to be like your sleep to wake type stuff there. Soldering settings. I guess that's your temperature, obviously, maybe. Um, I'm new to all this. My original soldering iron I ever used was a Weller. Just basic plug and play soldering iron. So this is my first digital uh, soldering iron. So we will learn together. Sleep mode. Obviously, that's going to be when you want to fall asleep. Uh, user interface. Advanced settings language and so on so if we go to power settings we hit plus we got power source dc uh, what else we got we got 3s uh, set cut out or cut off volts back to dc that's where i had it set at originally uh max qc volts so you can send your voltage Should negotiate four. Okay, all right. Max QC voltage should negotiate four. What else we got? We got PD timeout. I'm okay with 20 seconds. Soldering settings. Boost temp, 420 degrees. S start up a behavior, zero degrees. So it's off right now. Um, yep, that's off and startup behavior zero seconds so then you can kind of set it to what you want to start to just kick on at um, temperature let's see what that says temperature change increments on short button press okay so you just tap plus and it'll quickly change those temps um, so that's pretty much what that means. As far as 
accessories go. I went ahead and got the clear case for that pencil. Comes with a little bit of rubber uh, grip. And we'll do a separate video of how to install the case. And then it comes with, with the hardware. Extra buttons, screws, and uh, I believe that's some kind of a heat shield possibly. So that's what that comes with. And then I got extra tips too. I went ahead and got their fine point system, uh, set. They have a wide a wider version and I think they have a medium version of their tips. These tips are quite a bit longer. So if you take that, you're looking at roughly maybe an inch and a half longer than what is a stock tip. So um, this one you have kind of a nail point almost, ultra fine. The next one is going to be kind of like a blade, maybe, if that's what you would call this. Again, I'm not really familiar on the on the tip names for soldering, so bear with me, please. But maybe a blade style. And then we got another needle point. And then a, this is more of a broad, broad flat one. It's kind of this at a slight taper and maybe about the width of a ballpoint pen. So, so yeah, that's what I got. Um, I do more fine soldering than anything else, uh, which you can kind of see, which is maybe this is not fine soldering compared to what some of you guys do. Um, but it is fine for me. So we'll just do that. Okay. All right. We're going to kick it on and go. All right, and that is it heating up super fast. You can see some 298, 270, 260. So that is the current temperature of the iron itself. We're looking at 230-ish degrees. Um, and that thing is piping hot. I think my background there on my mat is just a little too much for the camera. So, take my solder. So we're dropping down, so let's take our menu here. Let's go back over here. And we're gonna up. There we go, 330 degrees Celsius. So, we're getting that temperature back up. We're at 330-ish now. And there we go. Yeah, look at that. Nice. We're back on power. Already running at 320 degrees Celsius, which I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change that to Fahrenheit because I'm in America and we run things in Fahrenheit, unlike everybody else in the world, because we're backwards. So what we're building here is a QRP guys um, antenna attenuator. Um, I'm going to be looking at getting into some fox hunting um, this coming uh, s spring and hopefully summer um, with ham radio in my local area. So I figured I would get a attenuator to help me out with the process of all that. Uh, right now we're going to be soldering on the one of the switches for the attenu attenuator. So let's get going. I already fluxed this. So I'm going to use my bottom finger here to hold that up that first panel right there and get some solder on there. And I need to get a new soldering tip cleaner. So it looks like our temperature dropped down. Let's go back up. I must have hit a setting where it's falling asleep or not staying on. So we're going to just go with it for now. Okay, that is that. This is, again, this is just a QRP, guys, uh, attenuator. It's got three switches for it. So QRP, guys, 10 dB, 20 dB, and 30 dB. 50 ohm attenuator. Then it's got your labels, 10 dB, 20, and then we'll, this will be the full bypass. So this is just, again, for fox hunting, and then it has your resistor. Which ones go where? 
different color coordinations, obviously, for different resistance power uh, resistance. So then our switch, and then some little bitty pads to mount it with. But I just went ahead and 3D printed um, KM4ACK's case. Uh, so you can go check out his channel. He shows you a full build kit on this as well. Uh, no uh, affiliation with him, but he does great stuff. So, but yeah, this is just resin printed um, and came out pretty good. So this will just sit in there as such. And then we'll have the mount like that and then our screws. And then that way we can BNC connected because everything should be BNC. Uh, just like everything should be USB-C. So that is the pencil uh, Pine 64 soldering iron. Uh, kind of a quick review. Uh, we'll get into it as uh, I go down different projects and stuff. And then again, we'll do a video of how to swap over the, the cases sometime in the near future. Um, but hey, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all your feedback and your time uh, with me. So um, I guess peace out.